Go ahead, Muslim from Mecca. Assalamu alaikum. Go ahead. Alaikum as So, why do you hate Islam, brother? Do you love Islam? Yes. Why? Because it is the truth. Truth what? We believe in one God alone. Well, if you believe in one God alone, so why Allah, He prayed to Muhammad? But I thought he's God. If Allah does not pray, he gives blessing. No, it says, no, it says, Allah huwa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and his angels praying on the Prophet. Allah prayed to who? It's about the context. So in that context, he's talking about blessing. Okay, as long as you say it so, that means Islam is not religion of monotheism because in that verse says, Allah and the angels, they'd give a blessing, correct? Yes. Well, that means angels are God too, because only God can give a blessing. Um, no, because Allah says it's really, um, He emphatically states in the Quran uh -huh. that He does not have any partners, that He is alone, that He does not have a son. Okay. Doesn't so, doesn't change anything. I, you just say it to me. I ask you about this verse, chapter thirty-three, verse number fifty-six. It says Allah and the angels they are praying on the prophet. You said, no, they are giving blessing. Okay, but if Allah is the only God who have no partner, it is only Him should be the one who can give a blessing. Angels don't give a blessing unless they are God. The only one who can bless you is God. But you just told me. That Allah and the angels, they are the one who give a blessing. So you are not monotheist. No, blessing, anyone can give blessing. No, can I can, no, 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 my friend. When you say bless you, you are saying, you are saying, may God bless you. No, man cannot bless a man. Nobody can, blessing come only from God. Do you think you are God too? Yes. No, when I when I bless you, right, I'm asking God to exactly. So so, but 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 the, but the verse, but the verse in the front of you it says Allah and His angels send the blessing. It doesn't say Allah, because if Allah send the blessing, you see the Muslim they try to fix it. They change the word salah into blessing. Okay, no one more problem. But now we have bigger problem because now you see okay. that Allah and the angels doing the same exact job. They are sending blessing. You see, if Allah, he blessed you, and Allah is God, and you must then believe only God can give a blessing, then there is no need for the angels. Because if God blessed me, who can not? I'm blessed, that's it. Who need the angels? So I will the need... Angels are, the angels do what Allah tells them to do. No, 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 read the verse. It never says that. Where it says that? Where it says, why well, are you adding words to the Quran? I know what I'm saying is the angels are obedient to Allah's command. My friend, no problem. No, angels are not obedient. Where, where, where you get this from? That's what I was talking about. No, the Quran says it clearly that the angels are not obedient to Allah. The angels, actually, according to the Quran, they are a bunch of liars. Is that correct? No, and the angels are obedient. They listen to everything Allah says. They have no free will. Okay, read for me this verse. You speak Arabic? I can speak okay, that's wonderful. That will make it easier for me. Here we go. Chapter 2, verse number 31. Allah, he said to the angels, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. In kuntum sadiqeen. Is that correct? Did Allah say to the angel that you are a bunch of liars? Read it. Uh huh. And they could not tell him the names, so they are a bunch of liars. So how a bunch of liars can be the ones send the blessing, blessing of liars? No, hold on, hold on. I'm holding. 
علم لنا علم right the علم comes from Allah only Allah can give the knowledge to the angels my friend this is another question did your God Allah accuse them to be a bunch of liars yes or no he said to them if you are truthful tell me the names of those things the response is they cannot tell the name so they are not truthful Thank you. So guys, did, did you hear it? Did you, did you hear it? The angels in Islam, they are not truthful. So they are liars. No, no, no. Just because something is not truthful doesn't mean No, no. If you are not truthful, if you are not truthful, the opposite of the truth is a lie. He is, if you are truthful, he is not saying you are truthful. If you are, and they fail. So Allah, obviously, he proved that they are a bunch of liars. And now you are saying to me that a bunch of liars can send the blessing to Muhammad? And the no, bunch, and the bunch. If, if, I, if I ask AI a question and it gives me a wrong answer. No, this is not, this is not about wrong. You see, this can be a wrong if Allah, he says, if you are wrong. He did not say that word. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. It says, in kuntum thadiqeen. Sadiq mean if you are if you are telling the truth. So what is the opposite of not telling the truth? It's telling a lie. If, it, you know, if I ask a computer something and it tells me something that's not truthful, does that mean the computer lied? Yes, because it's not truthful. No, the computer cannot intentionally lie. No, my friend, no, I'm not talking about computer. computer. Don't mix computer. What computer? No, it's still computer or not, it's a lie. As long as it's a lie, it's a lie. This is a matter who tell it. My friend, no my friend, wrong, wrong, wrong answer is a is a lie. But because computer is a machine, because computer is a machine, but those are not those are not computers. As you see, Allah is having conversation with them. Yeah, I can have a conversation with a computer. Ah, uh -huh. so Allah He programmed those angels, and they are computers. They are not living beings. Allah says the angels are do not have free will. They do whatever Allah tells them. Okay, so is it Allah who told them to accuse Adam of doing mischievement then? Doing what? Is it Allah you told me angels don't have a free will? Is it, free will. Is it Allah who made them accuse Adam to do mischievement? What is that? What is mischief? Mischievement, mischievement, which means to do bad, to do to do wrong. Well, I would, I would Allah do that. You are the one who said to me they are programmed and they have no free will. But here it says, yeah, yeah. okay, but here they said, are you going to place in the earth someone he is going to do an achievement? You told me that the angels, they don't have a free will. They say only what Allah said to them. That means the whole conversation is fake. Angels said nothing. They did not do anything. It was Allah fabricating a story because you told me and everybody heard you. The angels are programmed. They don't have a free will. So this conversation in front of us in the screen, verse number 30, all of it is a fraud. It is Allah who forced the angel to say it, claiming that he made victory over the angels, proving them to be ignorant. Okay. What okay? You just destroyed Islam. So Allah is a liar too, because Allah, he fabricated a scenario claiming that the angels said, well, in fact, those are programmed computers. They said what Allah told them to say. So why why the Quran saying, and the angels said, <laughs> if, if, you know, <laughs> if the one who is do, doing that is Allah. So the whole book is a joke. Who is it a joke? My friend, if you are telling me that the one who is speaking, the angels, they have no free will. And Allah programmed them. So the whole conversation here is a joke. It's not going to be true. Because the angel they said, are you going to create somebody with doom achievement in earth? And, and shed the blood? But you just told me that this is, angels don't say things their own. Allah forced them to say it. So the conversation here is fake. The angel did not say anything. It's Allah. Everything you see in front of you, Allah is talking. There's no angels then. So Allah, he said, the angels say so. But the fact, it's a lie.
why can't he have a conversation now to something he created much stronger than? But they, they will give him the answer he gave them. <laughs> Okay, is this answer he now here it says Adam would do mischievement? Is that the answer he gave them? You said yes. You said they are programmed, they have no free will. So your God, he asked that he told the angel, I'm going to create Adam. They said to him, You will be placing someone who will make mischief and the, their in shed the blood. So who is the one who made this conversation? It turned to be the angels did not do according to you. It was Allah fabricating a story. Angels, they are just software according to you. Allah, yeah, yeah, Allah knows about what will happen. No, no, this is not about, don't share topic, don't share topic. It's not about knowing. You said the angels are programmed. Yes. So whatever they say, it's only what Allah told them to say, correct? Yes. So why the Quran is saying they say it here? Just like a computer can say things. But the answer is inside, is given to them by Allah. Yes, it is. Yes, so what? So the conversation is fake, because simply the angel did not say anything. This is Allah talking still. Because if I am the it's one... The computer fake. The computer did not fake. It gives you a real response. But this is my response. So if I am Allah, who knows everything, I am the one who put this answer. I put the conversation. I put the answer for it. So the angels are not there. This is only me talking to myself. Yes. Wonderful. So why Allah punished them? And he said to them, you do bow down to Adam. As long as this is his conversation, you agreed. That means... If Allah wants to talk to himself, he can talk to him. No, no, this, don't change topic, my friend. Focus when you focus. You just said, Allah, he is the one who gave them the answer. They are programmed. They have no free will. They accuse Adam yes. because Allah told them to do that, right? Yes. Okay, so why are Allah punishing them for accusing Adam? Please. No, the angels. Allah, He ordered the angels. Allah, He ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Don't you see it? Why the Why the Malaika is judu the Adam, right? Yes. Why he commanded them to, to bow down? Because it's a penalty. Because they accuse Adam of mischievement. So why Allah he is punishing them for a crime they did not do? If this was his answer, and this was his program, and this was his uh, command, and they have no free will. I think, yeah, I think maybe I am wrong. Ah. I think maybe they do have free will a little bit. Ah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> okay, I will go with you. Do your Muslims have a free will? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So when Adam, he commits sin, did he choose to commit sin and disobey Allah or Allah, he made that as a destiny for him? Uh, he chose. Are you sure? Yes. That's wonderful. Read with me the following then. <clears throat> this is your prophet speaking about a conversation happened between Adam and Moses. And obviously your prophet is a time traveler. Because Moses and Adam, I don't know how they met, but things can happen in Islam. So, according to your prophet, Adam's sin was a fate, never was a choice, and there's no free will in Islam. Read it for me, go ahead. Oh, Adam, you are our prophet who disappointed us. And us out of paradise. Continue. Do you blame me for action which Allah has written in my faith 40 years before my creation? Mm -hmm. you, did, you, you jump for some reason. It says here that Adam and Moses argue each other. Moses says to Adam, Oh Adam, you are our father. 
who disappoint us and turn us out of paradise. He, Moses, says, agree with you. And this is what the Christian believe in. It's called original sin. Adam is the first man to commit sin. Because of him, we are out of heaven. That means Musa never was a Muslim because Musa believed exactly what the Christian believed. And then it continues saying, Then Adam said to him, Oh, Musa, Allah favored you with his talk, which means he talked to you directly, and wrote the Torah for you by his hand. All the Torah written by the hand of Allah, all of it, not only the Ten Commandments. Do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my faith 40 years before my creation? But your prophet continues saying, so Adam refuted Moses, and your prophet always repeat anything in three times. So what does that mean? That means Adam, you cannot blame Adam for his sin. He has no free will. It's written in his fate 40 years before his creation. Why is it 40 years? That's weird. Um, this is your prophet saying, I don't know. I don't know about the authenticity This is very authentic, my friend. This is authentic. It's Al-Bukhari. Al-Bukhari 6614. We can show you tons of this reference. The same hadith, Mutawatir. Not only this is authentic, this is Mutawatir. So, as you see, in Islam, nobody have a free will. You said straight to me. Angels don't have a free will. And now we discover that Adam's sin is a, is a fraud. It was Allah. He forced Adam to do sin for what? Um, what? Uh, that's uh, so Allah the one who did it. Yeah, so Adam should not be punished. Why Allah is kicked out of heaven? What the point of this drama? Shaitan mislead Adam. And Eve, it turned to be all of it. It's a fabrication. It was Allah's plan. He's making a movie. <laughs> he said to Adam, you say this, you do this. To Eve, you do this, you say this. To Satan, you do this, you say this. It's a movie. It's an Indian movie. Mexican movie, Arabian movie, whatever you want. A lot of a drama. And the director, which is Allah in this scenario, he is making up a scenery. Otherwise, there's nothing happening. I just see Adam saying to him, oh, do you blame me, you idiot? Do you blame me for something? Which means you cannot blame me. I did nothing wrong. This is not my wrongdoing. This is Allah wrongdoing. And your prophet agree with him. And he claimed that Adam, he won the argument. <laughs> this is religion? Yeah, well, yeah, okay, but what's wrong with that? My friend, let's destroy all of Islam because the supposedly you pay for your sin. It turned to be Adam have no sin. It turned to be it is Allah. Allah is the real said, even Shaitan, Shaitan himself is the victim. Shaitan, as you see, the story is saying Shaitan, he whispered to them. But as you see, you cannot play it's a, a story written by Allah. It's a fate for Shaitan to be Satan, it's a fate for Adam. To listen to Satan, it's fate for Eve to listen to Satan, it's fate for the three of them to do commit wrong, and then he kicked them out of heaven. So the true Satan in Islam is Allah. Yes, so, uh, yes, that's right. I agree with this. Um so but uh, I don't see what is wrong. Uh, you, if, uh, you, so you agree Allah is Satan and you don't see what's wrong? I agree that Allah has made us sin. Yes. So why he's doing that? And so what? Uh, so what heaven and reward is about? Allah He make us sin, and then He wanna punish us for the sin He made us do? Yes, because Allah can do whatever He wants. Ah, your God is mentally ill then, because what is justice? Justice is about being, you know, the only a God should be just. If God cannot be just, nobody is just. So the true the true evil in this world is Allah then. If Allah wants to be evil, he can be evil. He can be no, no, he's evil. Allah. My friend, he don't need to be. He's all evil already, as you see. 
This is the evil plan of Allah for you, for me, for everybody. That's what the Holy Prophet is saying. It is. Okay. Allah can do whatever he wants. No, so you, so I agree that Allah Himself is very evil. If Allah wants to be evil, He can. No, no. You, you keep saying if he, already we prove that He is evil because this is evil. If I make you commit sin, and then I will punish you for the sin I made you do, isn't it? This is evil. Yes, it's evil. But that's if Allah wants to do that. So what Shaitan? So what Shaitan for? Shaitan, he did nothing. Shaitan is just an actor in the movie, hired by Allah. Allah is writing a book 40 years before he make the movie happen. He said Shaitan will do this, Adam will do that, he will do this, Angel will say that. So all of them, they are victims. How this is, can be from God? Because God can do anything, yeah. You see, uh, okay, God can do anything. Can so? Are you saying to me, God can be Satan? If God wants to be uh, an angel, he can be an angel. If he wants to be an angel. No, but here he is. A, he chose already to be Satan, as you see. He is Satan. There's no Satan in Islam. Allah is Satan. Because Satan is not the bad guy, according to to the Quran. It's Allah. Satan, he whispered to Adam to commit sin. Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve commit sin. But as you see, the whole story was made up by Allah. And all of them, they are just doing their job. Satan, he did what he should do, according to the program of Allah. Adam, he should do, he did what he should do, according to the program of Allah. Eve did the same. So everybody doing his job. If I am you, I will leave Islam right away. This is, can't be from God. This is, first of all, childless. Secondly, it's satanic. Number three, against the nature of God. God is, you know, is, is almighty, is holy. So why we call him holy if he is evil like this? What is this? He's, he's, Shaitan is a good guy here. He's a victim. In fact, the Quran confirmed that Shaitan is a victim. If you go in the Quran, who is the one who deceived Shaitan? Allah. Read with me. If Allah wants to deceive he, look, Allah is... No, no, my friend, you keep saying, you keep saying, you keep saying, if, if, this is not if no more, we prove it. Allah is that actually the Quran says and you speak Arabic my book my, my my book called the deception of Allah why based on the Quran isn't it Allah says in the Quran the one Allah deceive you'd little nobody can guide Allah is the deceiver there's no question about that but now we find out that all deception in the, in the earth and the heaven is made by Allah and shaitan himself as we see in chapter 15 Verse number 39, it says, Iblis said, Oh my God, he, he believed in Allah. You misled me. In fact, in Arabic, it says, Await any, you deceive me. I shall indeed deceive them. So Allah, he deceived everybody. Allah deceived Shaitan. Shaitan is a victim of Allah. Adam is a victim of Allah. Everybody is a victim of Allah. And then this God, he claimed to be a holy God. But then there's no holy about this holy God because as you see, he is the devil. And what? I don't get the arguments. This is not about he can do. No, this is not about he can do. He cannot. How come your God cannot have a son? Suddenly, Allah can do whatever He wants. Huh? He said he said he doesn't have a son. No. He said why he cannot have a son because he didn't have a wife. Your God, Allah, is a man. So what's the point? 
Well, the true God, he can have a son without having a woman. You just keep saying to me, a gun, he, his God, he can do whatever he want. But your God in the Quran said clearly, how can I have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Well, this is my case. I don't, I don't, I'm not married. So me and Allah is the same. If you ask me, do you have a son? I would say, how I can have a son if you don't have a woman? In order to have a son, I need to have a woman. Allah cannot be God. The God of the God of the Christians, He can have a son without having a girlfriend. Why? Because He's Almighty God. He can do whatever He want, but Allah cannot do whatever He want. He need to have a son. He can have a son only, as you see here, and you speak Arabic, only if He can get a wife.